coming into it without Kelvin Benjamin for the first time. Yeah, Kel- the Buffalo, pardon me. Uh, Christian McCaffrey, part of this run game. Well designed play here. Well designed. That's a heck of a pitch. That's what his opposite hand as well. That's why that was good. We'll hear from him momentarily. Oh, see, probably got hair there. That was nice. They ran for 201 yards on the day. Get out of there. Here's nine more of them. That is Super Cam with a 50-second rush t- rushing touchdown since he came in the league. Quick cape and all, guys, after the dunk. You know what? They're going to change their rules soon, I bet you. There it is. They, they're going to make sure you have control of the ball sooner or later. How about the cross. tweet from Steph Curry? He came out there dunking on people. I have to ask him what your feeling's like. Hashtag, I play below the rim. That's all right. You do okay, and so does Cam. Giving the ball away to the yeah, that thing, though. Balling. On to the fourth, Falcons down 10. Fourth and seven, Julio, who's battled injuries all game long. Probably going to have a bruised ego after this one. He had a season high in receiving yards, but he should have added more to it. He relaxed. Yeah, How about Kirk Coleman going up to him afterwards and saying, Dude, what happened? I have you on my fantasy. No, that's not going to go up here and say, Thank you. Yeah, no, I guess it. That is rough. Uh, next Falcons drive, they're still down 10. I, I, I see it. I've seen that, Ryan. Will never be easier. Ryan actually had his first 300 yard passing day since opening day. Wow. It's Kevin Coleman. Great play. Second receiving Great touchdown play. of the season. Atlanta's back within three. And they get the ball back with less than two minutes to go. They still have a chance. It's okay. fourth and 13. That's right. Hey, come on, guys. We can do this. Maybe you can. Taylor Gabriel. Little man does not come up big time on that one. Panthers. They get the win, NFC champs, ball 500. Continue to struggle, but I get it. And somebody wasn't happy. This little tweet. Yeah, I'm right, so hurt emotionally. I don't know what to do. I'm not lying. Can't walk away. I tried that and came back. I'm tired. I no did. one knows I'm tired. I'm tired. Oh, you know what I'm tired of? Because I get wrapped up into them emotionally. Okay. They're too good offensively. With the weapons that they have. Defensively, they got guys can rush the passer. They got guys can cover. They got guys can bang. They got linebackers that can run. And they're not getting it done. I mean, you you understand, after that collapse in the Super Bowl, there was going to be a fallback somewhat. But still, this team is so much better than what they're playing right now. And I'm tired of them taking me on this emotional roller coaster, man. I am, Jesus. Can you give me some help? No. No, you, what you really. think the Chargers got him on? Really. <laughs> <laughs> I can relate. Thank you. But not really. I mean, he, he's right. He's And, again, you know, I, I really believe it's because of the coaching change with Kyle oh, Shanahan and Steve Sarkeesian. You know, and that's why we see the, the um, ups and downs of an offense. Today, Matt Ryan played awesome, but it just wasn't enough because the defense couldn't get stops. Mm-hmm. Defense couldn't get off the field. And that's what we see with, with the Atlanta Falcons. And, you know, we always ask the question. We asked it last week. Who's the favorite in, in this division? And last week, I said the Saints. You said the Falcons. <laughs> so, so, who, so who's the favorite this week, Brian? Uh, I'm going to stick with the Falcons. They're not the favorite to win the division right now. But I think they have the tools. Who, who has the most talent in the division? The Saints. Healthy stuff, man. You know the Saints don't have. You can't even name nobody on the defense. <laughs> on, the, on the Saints. Man, stop. No, I, I'll give you that. The Falcons. All right, well, the Falcons right now are 